Hello, and thank you for joining us for this Onc Live TV Peer Exchange. This program will feature expert panel discussions focused on optimizing treatment of metastatic colorectal cancer. My name is Dr. Johanna Bendel, and I'm the Director, GI Oncology Research and Associate Director, Drug Development Unit at Sarah Cannon Research Institute in Nashville, Tennessee. Participating today on our distinguished panel are Dr. Tanios Bekai Saab, or Tony Saab, who is the Section Chief, Gastrointestinal Oncology, Chair, the Ohio State University, CCC, Gastrointestinal Disease Research Group, Associate Professor of Medicine and Pharmacology at the Ohio State University, James Cancer Hospital, Columbus, Ohio. Al Benson, MD, Professor of Medicine and Associate Director for Clinical Investigations at Robert H. Lurie Comprehensive Cancer Center of Northwestern University in Chicago, Illinois. Dr. Charles Blanke, Chuck Blanke, Professor of Medicine at the Knight Cancer Institute, Oregon Health and Science University, Portland, Oregon. Dr. Axel Grothy, Professor of Oncology and Consultant in the Division of Medical Oncology in the Department of Oncology, Mayo Clinic. Dr. Alan Vanuk, Madden Family Distinguished Professor of Medical Oncology and Translational Research and Professor of Clinical Medicine, Division of Medical Oncology, University of California, San Francisco. Thank you again for joining us today and let's get started. So my friends, we've had a very busy ASCO. We've all attended, we had some major um, news that came out of ASCO this year, uh, focused mostly around CALGB 80405. So Alan, you were up on the podium at the plenary session, first plenary session for colorectal cancer treatment in a long time. Um, I'm actually going to have Dr. Chuck Blanke um, uh, talk a little bit about the design of the trial because I know you and Chuck actually designed this trial together. Chuck, tell us a little bit about the CLGB study and tell us a little bit about what was uh, behind the design of the study. Sure. So the important elements to consider today are the fact that the chemotherapy backbone was solely at the choice of the investigator, either a full theory or a full FOX regimen. The ultimate trial asked a biologics question, which was bevacizumab versus cetuximab. Those who have been following this news for a long time may remember from 10 years ago that there was actually a combination arm, but based on later data from uh, Cairo and Pace, we decided that that was not perhaps safe and perhaps ineffective and uh, eliminated it. So in terms of uh, the rationale behind allowing investigator choice, there was obviously strong randomized data for each individual chemotherapy regimen. We then had the, in my opinion, landmark turnagain trial that actually looked at uh, full theory versus full fox with a swap. Great results on both arms, equivalent results with 20 month beating survival, uh, thus validating it. The intergroup was extremely comfortable with allowing investigator choice. There was strong data, of course, for both biologics, speaking specifically for cetuximab. There were multiple phase two and three trials. I'll just quote of a, the crystal trial, which was the full theory cetux versus uh, full theory and showed marked benefits in progression-free and overall survival, and then more when we looked at extended RAS, which I know you're gonna talk about later. And finally, um, we actually thought we had pretty strong rationale for the combination of cetuximab and bevacizumab. Obviously, they hit different targets. They're both effective. They have non-overlapping toxicities. And importantly, there were two relatively small trials that did hint that it was a good idea. But as I suggested, when time went by with much larger trials, not a good idea, and that arm was dropped. Excellent. And I tell you, I have to commend all of you and for all of the investigators that enrolled patients to this study, because this was a huge undertaking. Not only was it looking at the difference in treatments, but there were a lot of correlative studies built into this trial as well, which I think is going to give us a lot of information in the future. Alan, I know you...